Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sisters and brothers in Christ, peace be with you. Amen. I ask you now, please be seated for just a moment. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. On behalf of the Asian Ministry and all gathered here, we extend a warm welcome, in spite of the weather, to Most Reverend Bishop Roger Grease, our priests and deacons from the Asian communities. We thank Father Kukuti, the pastor here, for having us back here. Everyone is invited to please join us for a delicious luncheon after Mass. The Asian ministry consists of representatives from various Asian Catholic communities who meet once a month with Sister Rita Mary Howard. We share our successes and failures and learn about resources to help build our communities. The annual Asian Gathering began in 1998, making this celebration our 16th, which is hard to believe. Children have grown up and moved on. Our hair has now turned gray, but we continue together to worship, bringing our unique traditions and gifts to the altar. The theme for this year's gathering is the bridge, which is a symbol of harmony, and unity. It represents our transitions and common journeys from different countries, bringing with us our faith, hope, memories, and even sometimes our anguish. Like all immigrants, we have experienced the cycle of romance and disillusionment as we have struggled to settle into a new life. Holding fast to our faith has helped many find joy. As we assimilate into the rich, diverse tapestry of this country, we strive to pass on this faith of ours to the next generation, gently reminding them about who they are and from where they have come from. Our struggles have hopefully made us more compassionate human beings, welcoming the stranger among us, the newcomer, the immigrant in need. According to reports, Asian Americans are the highest income, best educated, and fastest growing racial group in the U.S. Our gifts to our church include reverence for our faith, respect for our elders, our humility, the significance we place on marriage, parenthood, family life, and education. As people increasingly look to the spirituality from the East, we need to inform them also about Christianity's history in Asia, dating back to the first century. We ourselves sometimes need a reminder that Christ himself was an Asian. We have answered the call to cross the bridge and also to be the bridge, connecting those around us, not just to our cultures, but to our faith. Today, we ask God for his blessings on our community. 